Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to go over the properties of addition one more time. And I'll start with what I think is the easiest one and it's the identity property of addition and it involves the zero. So what the identity property says for us is any number plus zero is the same number. So I've got a couple examples for you. I try to use kind of a big number. 4,343 plus zero would just equal 4,343, the number I started with, because I'm not adding anything, okay? I'm adding zero. Same thing here, 331 plus zero would just be 331. And down here, I change the order. I put the zero first. Well, it doesn't matter, right? It's still that number, 331 and 4,343. So that identity that involves zero and adding zero, that one's probably the simplest one. The next one that I want to share with you is commutative property. And remember, commutative property tells us that we can change the order of the add-ins, but we will still get the same sum. So let's work through one of these together. I put at the top, we can change the order of the add-ins, but the sum, the total, will stay the same. So let's try to balance this. The, the equal sign says that they should balance. Let's see if they do. Well, mental math, 12 plus 8. Well, if you use that strategy of get to 10 as fast as I can, you know that 8 and 2 is 10, plus that 10 and 1, so that would be 20. And boys and girls, it's okay right now at this point of the year if you can't see that and you need to add them up vertically. 8 plus 2 is 10, so I put my 0 down, carry my 1, and so that 1 plus the 1 I carry gives me 20. Okay, so that side is 20. Well, all this is it, all the other side is, is the numbers in the opposite order. So 20 equals 20. 8 plus 12. Okay, so the same thing would happen over here. 701 plus 14 has got to equal 14 plus 701. So let's say a three digit number, I'm not sure what that is. I'm going to line them up vertically and add. 1 plus 4 is 5, and 0 plus 1 is 1, and then 7 plus nothing in the hundreds, it's just 7. So 715, and some of you might have saw that already, that 14 plus 1 is 15, and then I would just bring down my 7. But I'm just changing the order here. I have the 14 first, so it's still 715. Okay, that's commutative property. Changing the order of the add-ins, but the sum is the total. And that's called balancing it. Okay, and the last one that we want to cover then is the associative property. So this is the one where we keep the order of the numbers the same. We just move the parentheses. So what does that look and sound like for us? The associative property, I put it on here, if the parentheses they also call that, or the grouping of the add-ins changes, the sum will stay the same. So here, I put the parentheses at the beginning of the problem, and over here, I put them at the end. So let's work them out. Three plus three, you always gotta do the parentheses first. So three plus three, well I know that is six, so I bring that down, and I'm gonna add that to the two. So mental math, six plus two is eight. Okay, so let's try it now on the other side. The parentheses are over here. So now I would start with those parentheses. 3 plus 2, mental math, 5 plus the 3 that I need to bring down. So mental math, 3 plus 5, 8. Okay, so that's how I balance it. Let's try one more with maybe a two-digit number. So i got to go to the parentheses first, right? So 7 plus 2, mental math, 9, plus this 21 that's way out there. Well, if you look at the problem, you might do your strategy of get to 10 as fast as I can. You know that a 1 and a 9 is 10, so that 10 plus the 2 there would give me 30. That's okay if you don't see it right now. Line them up vertically. 9, I'm sorry, 1 plus 9, 10, carry the 1, 30. Okay. And let's try it on the other side. Do these parentheses first, always parentheses first. 
So 21 plus 7, well, 7 plus 1 is 8. So I think that's 28, but let me just make sure by lining them up again. 7 and 1 is 8, plus that 2, yep, 28, plus the 2 that I have to bring down here. So 28 and 2, well, that's 30. Okay, so 30 plus 30. And again, if you need to line them up, that's okay. 2 plus 8 is 10. Whoops, my marker's not working. And carry the 1, 30. Okay, so that's called balancing them. All right, boys and girls, go ahead and return to your Google slide and work on your problems. That's all for now.